inches from right temple. better I think he was a man very much in love with me no yeah, well, don't kid yourself sweetheart no, I'm not in fact I'm sure at this very moment Adrian is somewhere making his final preparations to do away with me Each day that goes by, I come up with some new bizarre scenario how Adrian might go about killing me. Oh, God, Cassandra. I know. I tell myself I should be thinking about that. I shouldn't be dwelling on such horrible thoughts, but I find myself more and more preoccupied with various versions of my own murder. I never should have let you do this. Oh, Paul, it was the only alternative. I hate it, too, but... I don't know what else we could have done. Cassandra, I really think I should be going. You take care of yourself, okay? I'm sorry I ever doubted you. You be careful. Bye, Paul. I'll talk to you later. Okay. Bye. Paul, you better take off, too. There's no telling when Adrian will come back. Just a few more minutes. Mason, I need to be alone with Paul. This will only take a moment, I promise. Okay. I want to tell you something. If anything happens to me, I want you to go on with your life. I don't want you to look back, and I don't want you to ever feel guilty or to blame yourself in any way. You know what it does to me to hear you talk like that? Paul, I don't know when or if we'll ever have a chance to talk again, and it's important to me that you understand my feelings. 
I want you to know how much I love you. And I don't regret a moment of what we shared together. I only regret that I hurt you so deeply. You listen to me. You keep an eye on Hunter's every move. And don't let anything happen to yourself. Somehow, some way, we're going to stay ahead of him. Perfect. Just perfect. <laughs> 